Before we get into the actual games themselves, I'm going to give you a menu uh, to show you exactly what I'm recommending on this DVD. The first white opening we will consider is Larson's opening B3, a reasonable enough way to start the game and it must never be forgotten that Larson won many beautiful games with this opening. That was then, this is now. I'm recommending that black meat Larson's opening with the slightly unusual but perfectly respectable d5 and bishop g4. This promotes a sharp struggle if white tries to hunt the bishop down after h3. It's kind of a reverse Trompowski, but in all cases, black gets a reasonable gain. Going back now to the opening move, go all the way back. The next opening we'll take a look at is the Solkowski opening b4. This is of course a much sharper approach than, than b3 introduces. And once again, I'm going to be recommending the move d5. But after bishop b2, we're going to sharpen the game up straight away with queen d6, pulling the question to the pawn at b4. This is an approach favoured by the veteran East German Grandmaster Wolfgang Orman, and we'll see a nice game of this where he wins in excellent style with queen d6. It's an interesting move. Black sets a trap if white plays b5 in this position. The queen can come into b4, forking the bishop and the pawn. But there's far more to black's queen move than that. If white plays a3, black can grab the center with e5. This is a good approach by black and, again, completely recommendable. Let's drop back one more time. Now we come to the move a3, Anderson's attack. Not seen very often but um, a crafty move. White is going to play a reversed opening. Whatever black plays, white will respond as if he's black with the extra move a3 thrown in. Usually this will involve black in a kind of reverse Sicilian and the way Anderson interpreted it back in the 19th century was to follow a3 up with a quick c4. Against a3 I'm recommending a King's Indian approach with g6. Quite often we reach uh, a typical position in many Queen's pawn openings where the move a3 has no bearing on the position whatsoever. Black can play a kind of King's Indian or Grunfeld setup with complete confidence because a3 has no bearing on that type of structure. So g6 is a good reply to a3. Going back one more time, we then come to knight c3, which is of course one of the best of white's irregular first moves. Against this move, I think black should stick with d5 once again. And white has a couple of ways to transpose back into normal openings, or to try to. He can play d4, which is usually going to transpose back into a queen's pawn opening, probably the very soft. Well, against that, I'm not interested in letting white play e4 for free, so I recommend bishop f5. I think this is the complete answer to knight c3, and will give black a good game in all lines. If white plays bishop g5 in this position, angling for a very soft, then h6, bishop h4, and now c6 is a very good approach, intending queen b6. This is the way grand masters play this position with black, and um, well, it's just pretty good. Going back to knight c3, d5, diehard knight c3 players will often come out with a move e4. This goes directly back into an innocuous variation of the Scandinavian, where d takes e4, knight takes e4, and now bishop f5 gives black a very respectable game. Basically, black gets a kind of caro cam position in reverse, where he hasn't even moved his c pawn yet. This gives black the opportunity at the right moment to play c5 in one go, undermining the white centre, and this should secure black pretty comfortable equality in every line, as we will see. Going back to the opening, the next one we're going to tackle is the unruly grob. Okay, I know of a lot of players who play this move in club chess. They know the tricks, they know the traps, and they win a lot of quick games with it. Well, I'm going to recommend that black respond with d5 once again, and if bishop g2, the traditional grob approach, I'm going to perhaps recommend the slightly unconventional exchange sacrifice after bishop takes g4, c4, d takes c4, allowing white to take on b7, 
and to take on a8. Yes, White has won the exchange, but in all other respects, he has a completely ghastly position. And uh, we'll see that this is an enterprising and pretty good way of tackling this position for black. The Basman approach after d5 is to go h3. We'll see a game of Basman against Keane where he comes unstuck using this unconventional approach. By simple means, black can get a good game here. And the key move, the key idea, is the development of the knight to e7. This is an excellent move. The knight will come to g6, eyeing the key squares on the king side, h4 and f4. I don't believe that white can get even a playable game against this approach by black. So the grob, I would say, is redundant as an opening. Going back, well, of course, that leads us on to Benko, Benko's opening, g3, which is as solid as they come. And it's just an attempt by white to play a game of chess. I think there's nothing black can do against this. The very best way to play is e5 and d5. Grab the centre. Why not? Classical chess. Take the centre if you can. And we'll see a number of grandmaster games where black gets, um, as long as he's not over ambitious, a perfectly respectable game using this idea. I mean, why get into anything fancy against g3? It can't be a bad move. In fact, it's a very good move. Just take the centre, play normal chess, get your pieces out, stick to the basics. You'll always get a good game. Going back once more, the final opening we're going to be taking a look at is f4, bird's opening, the last of the decent irregular moves. Well, once again, I recommend black stick with the basics. Um, and whether white plays knight f3 in this position, or whether he goes b3, I'm recommending g6 as our approach. Bishop b2, perhaps, knight f6. We're going to see games from top grandmasters, including Alexei Shirov, where black wins handily. Whatever white does, whether he plays a stone wall, whether he plays a reverse Queen's Indian, whether he plays a reverse classical Dutch, or actually a bird. So these are the approaches I'm recommending to you on this DVD. Um, they're by and large solid and classical ways to meet white irregular openings, but I believe that is the best way. That is the most sensible way. You know, don't fight fire with fire to the extent that you meet exotic and unusual moves with strange moves of your own. This is exactly what white is hoping for. Certainly in the case of knight c3, g3 and f4, I mean these are decent moves. And b3 of course, these are decent moves. And b4 can't be underestimated either. Perhaps the only opening I couldn't recommend to my friends on this DVD for white is the grob. You know, white can play any move on the first turn and get away with it. So your approach should be sober and sane and aim for decent positions, playing in a classical manner. If you want to improve your results and improve your overall chess game, that's the way to do it. All right, that's the intro. Now it's time to get into the games.